So the next type of org organization is the accumulator CPU organization. And in this accumulator CPU organization, the first operand is always present in the accumulator and the second operand is either present in the register or it is present in the memory. Okay. So here, as you can see in the diagram, we have a register file and we have a memory and this complete is the accumulator CPU organization. And after the data manipulation, the result is always placed inside this accumulator. If we have this accumulator and the result is always placed inside this accumulator and the CPU design only one accumulator is present. So it, this accumulator becomes a default location for the data and here the compatible instruction formats are only one address instructions. Okay. So let me write down all these points one by one. Number one in this organization, the first ALU operand is always present is always present in the accumulator and the second a and the second operand is present either in register file either in register file or in memory or in memory okay and second point is after the data manipulation the result is always placed inside the accumulator so after the data manipulation data manipulation the result is placed inside is placed into the accumulator okay and the third point which i said is in the cpu design only one accumulator is present so accumulator is the default location so accumulator is the default location and here the compatible instruction formats are only one address formats so compatible instruction format is one address instructions format one address instruction format that means in every instruction we will be having one address and the format will be like this uh, in this complete format we'll be having an operation code that is op code and we'll be having the address of the location address of the location okay and uh, for example if we have add 2000 now this 2000 is giving the memory location okay so this 2000 is the memory location and these brackets means we are talking about the content of that memory location so you can see this is the memory and here will there will be some address which is 2000 and inside this 2000 will be having may, may be having some data and uh, when we say 2000 that's the memory location and when we use this bracket that means this is the content of that memory location that means this five uh, will be taken from here the second operand will be taken from the accumulator and the operation will be performed and the data result that will be stored inside the accumulator and this opcode specifies the type of operation type of operation type of operation and here there will be two types of operation number one is the data transfer operation data transfer operation and the second one is the alu operation second one is the alu operation data transfer operation and the alu operation data transfer operation like load and store so we'll be having load operations like this load operation which tells that is that it is a memory read operation and when i'm saying store store means it is a memory write operation it is a memory write operation okay and here when i'm saying load operation in, th in the case of load operation the source is memory and the destination is accumulator and in the case of store operation the source is accumulator and the destination is memory that means when i'm loading the data loading means uh, we have taking the data from the memory and we are putting the data inside the accumulator and we are storing the data that means we are taking the data from the accumulator and we are storing the data inside the memory and when i'm saying alu operation in the case of alu operation the first operand is always present in the accumulator and the second operand will be present in the register or memory so you can say source will always be accumulator source one and source two will always be register or memory and the destination will always be the accumulator
destination will always be the accumulator you can see the hardware design of this accumulator cpu organization so in the next video let us see an example of a program or example instruction okay let us uh, do one thing let us discuss an example instruction in this video and we'll see the examples of a program in the next video so here for example if we have an instruction like this instruction is add uh, 2000 add 2000 now this add 2000 2000 is a memory location that means will uh, this 2000 uh, the first data operand will be always present in the memory that is memory location 2000 and second operand will be always present in the accumulator so the fetch cycle will fetch an operand from the memory and we then will fetch an operand from the accumulator and then we'll perform an operation between them then after fetching this is a fetch memory fetch accumulator and after this we'll perform the alu operation alu operation uh, is because of this it is the add so alu operation is the addition operation and after this addition operation the result will be stored inside the accumulator itself the result will be stored inside the accumulator itself so this complete is the execution cycle for execution cycle for this accumulator cpu organization let us look at some example for the accumulator cpu organization we will uh, give some mathematical again mathematical instructions like a multiplied by b plus c and let us see how to perform this kind of operation in the accumulator cpu organization